Well, hello and welcome to your weekly wisdom. We're continuing to walk through the book of Proverbs and our lesson today is simply this. Watch where your heart lingers and watch where your feet walk. Your heart and your feet can lead you to great things or they can lead you in all kinds of trouble. We're finishing up in Proverbs chapter 7 and we're, there's a, an entire passage that's a narrative of two people being tempted to sin. A man, who, a young man who's out looking for sexual enticement and a woman who's out ready to offer it. They meet up, they engage, and, and the passage kind of, as, as it's winding down, says all at once he followed her, like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose. He talks about the cost of this. It says it'll cost him his life. And then afterwards, and this is the passage we're gonna look at today, the writer of Proverbs kind of just reflects in kind of a closing thought. And that's found in verses 24 through 27 in Proverbs chapter seven. Here's a summary after this whole narrative has been told and this couple's gotten involved and it's going to cost them. And we read this in verse 24. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray to her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death. It's sober, it's serious. It ends talking about the cost. But there's a couple of wise words given that kind of warn us about watching the, the path we walk and watching where our heart goes, where our eyes linger. So here's an encouragement from this passage. Keep your heart from turning towards sin. For instance, say you deal with issues of anger and vengeance and just you're always kind of mad at people. If you're constantly watching shows that are all about retribution, revenge, getting people back, Maybe that's not preparing your heart to turn away from that. Maybe that's setting you up to dive into it. Any area of sin, there's certain ways we can kind of orient our hearts towards things that will encourage that sin or turn us away from that sin. Check your heart. Watch your heart. The second warning is this. Keep your feet from wandering near temptation. Watch where your feet go. Watch where you're walking, literally and metaphorically. Watch where you're heading. Watch where you're going. If you struggle with alcohol and you're wandering towards the bar, Probably a bad idea. If you struggle with sweets and you stop at the churro stand at the fair, probably not a good idea because once you have one churro, boy, you want another one. If you're, if you're uh, feeling tempted by a person in your neighborhood wandering by their house and popping by to check and see how that, that, that uh, wife is doing while her husband's away and you're going to help her out with the yard, and you, bad idea. Watch where your heart goes, but watch where your feet go. And then finally, ask this question, what's it going to cost? What's it going to cost? Because when we wander where we shouldn't wander, when we let our hearts be filled with, with pursuits and desires that we shouldn't be entertaining, that leads us down the wrong road. So here's the encouragement today. Where are your feet taking you? And where is your heart leading you? And are you being careful with where you walk? and with how your heart is drawing you, because those things can lead, your heart and your feet can lead you to the best things in life and the worst things in life. Assess your path and turn away from the path that leads towards sin and turn towards the path that leads towards life. God, this is our prayer. We don't have strength to do this on our own. We all deal with temptations and enticements. They're all different for each one of us. We all have our own issues, our own family histories, but we pray this day that we can guard where our feet go and be careful with what we put into our hearts so we don't continue to repeat patterns of sin that are damaging to us and those we love the most. And most of all, that break your heart when you see us damage our lives. Give us strength to turn from sin, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining us for these few moments together. I would encourage you to be part of some local congregation this weekend. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you online or on campus. If you're part of another church, get involved in your church, pray there, give there, serve there, and be part of the body of Christ. God's blessings on you this day.